Hello, everyone. Welcome to Power Bar Express. My name is Cheyenne. We're here for 45 minutes of all the fun things, bar included. Let's get started on our mat today. You will just need one weight for class. This can be whatever you want to use, whether if it's a weight, can of soup, whatever you have available at your fingertips. Bar can either be countertop, a wall, a chair, whatever you have here today. So um, Spotify playlist will be in the description down below if you'd like some nice uh, fun tunes to work out to. If you'd like to start your playlist, we'll begin in three, two, and one. We'll find ourselves in a child's pose. Your hips and heels will come towards your bar, chair, wall, whatever you're using here today. Slowly start to sink your chest between your thighs and extend your fingertips to the top of your mat. Allow your forehead to rest softly on the ground. Maybe soften your eyes. Find a big inhale through your nose and big exhales out your nose. On your mat today, I want you to reignite your passion for moving your body, finding whatever excites you, tickles your feather, do whatever you need to be really excited about this practice here today. In my life, I haven't really had too much excitement other than I'm really looking forward to spring and the season change. So I want you on your mat today to find a little excitement in the pulsing and the burning and the holding and the straightening your legs and shaking out with cardio, whatever you need here today to light your fire and allow yourself to grow big and bright. Take a slow breath in and a slow breath out. Inhale, press up to tabletop pose. Stack your shoulders over your hips, micro bend in your elbows. Pull your hips over your knees. Extend your right leg back for arabesque lifts. Inhale, tap your right toes. Exhale, squeeze your leg. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, tap your toes. Exhale, squeeze your right glute. Soften your elbows as you press your weight over your wrist. Point your toes towards the back of your mat. Inhale, slowly tap. Exhale, squeeze your glute. Take out any creases in the back side of your leg. Find even weight through both of your hips. Pull your belly button to a face, the center of your mat. Send your gaze long. Notice if you're dumping into your lower back, fire up engagement through your core. Hollow out through your armpits. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lower. Exhale, tap. Draw your right heel directly up towards the sky. In my practice, I like to have my left toes tucked for more of a balance. Isometrically, draw your inner thighs towards each other as you find balance. Yes, nice work. We'll add in the tricep push up in three, two. Inhale, tap your toes. Exhale, arabesque lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press. Inhale, tap your toes. Exhale, lift your heel. Inhale, lower your chest. Exhale, squeeze. Arabesque lift with a chest press. Allow your elbows to graze your rib cage as you lower your heart towards your mat. Extend your gaze along. Notice if you start to tuck your chin into your chest. Find a nice long, even plane as you take your tricep push up. Inhale to lower. Exhale to squeeze. Beautiful work. Use your breath with every movement you take. We hold long in three. Two, one, drop down to your left forearm, modified tabletop with one inch lower, one inch lift in your arabesque leg. Inhale, lower one inch. Exhale, squeeze one inch. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Press firmly through your left elbow. Press firmly through your right palm. Hover your left knee directly underneath your left hip. Lift your heel over the ball of your foot. Modify the to tabletop. Continue finding the activation through your right glute to extend your leg long. Inhale, lower one inch. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze. Shoulder stacks over your elbows or over your palm. 
Here we go. Woo, nice work. This is such a burner. Loving it, my friends. We switch it up in three, two. Hold your air best leg. Inhale, tap your left knee. Exhale, hamstring press. Inhale, tap your left knee. Exhale, hamstring press. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press your hamstring up towards the sky. Yes, you can. Get excited because you take child's pose after this. Woo Inhale, tap your left toes. Exhale, press. If this does not feel good in your upper body, drop down to your forearms. Make it 11. Tap your left knee. Spring your hamstring up towards the sky. Wrap muscle around bone. Find core activation. Engage, engage your muscles so you feel light here. Press back to a child's pose. In three. Last two. Last one, drop down to your knees. Big toes to touch, knees fall out wide. Whew. Maybe you sway side to side. Release your shoulder blades, release any tension. Great thing about side two is you know what to expect. You're strong, you're prepared. So let's not hold back. Slowly inhale, tabletop pose. Extend your left leg back, arabesque leg lifts. Inhale, tap your left toes. Exhale, squeeze your heel. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Get so excited over this big movement because you know the small movement comes afterwards. So celebrate the movement here. Point your toes strong. Act like you're trying to reach back. Whatever is behind you, you want to touch it with your big toe. Pull your gaze long. Find a neutral pelvis and neutral spine. Your neck is an extension of your spine, so reach energy through the crown of your head. Soften your elbows, hollow out through your armpits. Side two, we'll add in a wide push-up. And three, two, inhale, tap your toes, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower your chest, exhale, press up. Inhale, lower, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lower, exhale, press up. Notice if you start to lift through your left hip, draw your left hip in line with your right. Isometrically draw your inner thighs to kiss. Wide push up, engage your chest, engage your triceps, level your spine as you lower and as you lift. Yes, yes, you can, come on. You're ready for this, you're ready. Right here with you for the last five, four, Three, two, one. Hold your arabesque. Drop down to your right forearm. Plant your left hand. Modify the to tabletop. One inch lower. One inch lift. Inhale lower. Exhale lift. Inhale lower. Exhale squeeze your left glute. Draw your right knee underneath your right hip. Draw your right heel over your toes. Press firmly into your right forearm and firmly into your left hand. Again, if this does not feel good, drop down to your forearms. So many options here. Extend long through your left leg. Pull your graze two to three inches past the top of your mat. Use your breath. Inhale, lower softly. Exhale, squeeze softly. Yes, here we go. Come on. Talk yourself up, you know where it's to come. There's one more thing here in the floor work. Last three, hold your air best high in two. Last one, inhale, tap your right knee. Exhale, hamstring press. Inhale, drop your right knee. Exhale, spring your hamstring up towards the sky. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze. Woo, so strong. Yes, pull your floating ribs to your pubic bone. Squeeze everything you got. Take a rep, shake it out. Take another rep, shake it out. Recommit to every movement that you take at your best. Where's the excitement? Where's the joy? Know that you're almost done. 10 seconds and floor work. Child pose is coming at you in five, four, last three. Come on, last two. Last one, child's pose. Whoo. Yes, allow your side bodies to find length. Allow your inner thighs and quads to release. To get inhale, fill up. 
And exhale, slowly release. Ooh, inhale, tabletop pose. Tuck your toes, walk your fingers up. Exhale, downward facing dog, breathe. Find some movement through your legs. Pedal your left knee, your right knee. Press all attention, your pads firmly into the earth. With every inhale, send your hips up high. Every exhale, let your heels down low. Bring the crown of your head to the space between your thumbs. Take a breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, halfway lift, flatten your back, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, breathe. Ground down through the four corners of your feet. Tuck your pelvis slightly, release your shoulder blades away from your ears. Toll your pinkies in to broaden out through your back. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank, breathe. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Soften your elbows and draw your heels over your toes. Flex your quads, squeeze your glutes, tuck your pelvis, isometry, draw your hands in to engage the upper body. Send your gaze long. Inhale to stay for strength. Exhale, downward facing dog. We take breath to movement. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Listen to the change. Exhale, slowly walk your hands back towards your feet. Soften your knees along the way. Feel a nice hamstring stretch. And grab your weight in your left hand. Roll right side body to your bar. Set for power leg singles with a lat raise. Feel your hip width distance apart. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze. Power legs with the lateral lift. Releve onto the balls of your feet. Feet are hip width distance. Find the bony parts of your body. Should be able to fit two fists between your feet. Shoulders stack over your hips. Inhale, lower. Pull your weight out to shoulder height. Exhale, squeeze your arm into midline. Stand up tall. Relevant to the balls of your feet. You're working from your shoulders all the way down to your heels. Tuck your pelvis slightly. Imagine yourself going up and down the back of the wall. Light grip in your right hand. Inhale to lower. Micro bend in your elbow. Exhale to squeeze. Draw all in like a tight zipper here. We hold low. And three, last two, last one, hold low on your plie. You have a one inch lower, one inch lift with a salt and pepper shaker. Inhale, lower, flip your palm. Exhale, lift, flip your palm. Inhale, lower, weight faces the ground. Exhale, lift, weight faces the ceiling. Inhale, lower one inch. Exhale, lift one inch. Oh, yes, you can. All 10 toes and knees point out directly in front of you. Roll your shoulder blades up and down your back. Inhale, palm faces the ground. Exhale, palm flips up. If the weight is not making you excited or just putting a downer on your practice, remove the weight out of the equation. Still stay engaged with your upper body. Do not need the weight to do the bar work. Yes, come on. Ooh. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Squeeze your shoulder blades to kiss on your back. Stay tall on your releve. We hold low in three. Last two. Hold low, draw your elbow by your ribcage. Knee open with a low rotator. Inhale to center. Exhale, open. Inhale to center. Exhale, low rotator. Imagine your weight has a string connected to your knee. As you open with your lower titter, open with your left knee. Squeeze your inner thighs towards the middle. 90 degree bend in your elbow. Knit your elbow by your rib cage. Inhale to center. Exhale, open. Broaden across your collarbones. Squeeze your left shoulder blade towards your spine. 
Check in with the grip in your right hand. Are you having a death squeeze? That does not make it easier. So release the tension. Pull the corners of your mouth up towards your eyes. Stay with your breath. Deep, take deep exhales as you open. Deep inhales to reset. We'll add in the movement soon. Come on. Get so excited about no longer having to hold this posture for five more seconds. And you'll open your left knee out towards the center of the room. And then squeeze it in. Last three. Two. One, power legs. Inhale to posse in front of you. Take a half curl. Inhale to power legs. Exhale, posse to the front with a half curl. Inhale, stop your weight at 90 degrees. Exhale, posse a curl. Inhale, drop your left foot. Exhale, squeeze for the half curl. Inhale to lower. Exhale to squeeze. Plie into your power legs. Stand releve on your right heel. Passe towards the front. Allow your left toes to graze the inside of your right leg. Draw your knee up and directly out of your hip. Take the half curl here. If you're being really excited for some bicep work, know that we will get there. The next time you're holding your passe to the front, hold the passe full bicep curl. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lower. Exhale, curl. Lower three-fourths the way down, lift three-fourths the way up. Releve onto the ball of your right foot. Micro bend in your right supporting leg. Activate through your core to lift your knee as high as you can. Create this 90 degree bend. Lightly kiss your left toes to the inside of your right thigh. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Stay in control right here. Always option to release your heel down to the ground if the releve is not calling your name. We switch it out in three, two. Inhale, coupe with a shoulder tap. Inhale, kiss your heels. Exhale, passe, shoulder tap. Inhale, kiss your heels. Exhale, passe, shoulder tap. Cross your left ankle over your right. Passe, slide your toes. Kiss your weight to your shoulder. Take this as if it was a cross body bicep curl. Stay in control of your weight as you lower and as you lift. Coupe ankles, kiss at the bottom. Then squeeze your inner thigh to allow your toes to slide back up your leg. Draw both of your knees, hips, belly button, shoulder, all you have towards the front of the room. Notice if you're jumping all the way into your right leg, stand up strong. Inhale, ankles kiss. Exhale, squeeze, tap. L, left elbow is still knit by your rib cage. Beautiful work, beautiful work. Looking so good. Allow the sweat to start to drip. Allow the heat to reignite your purpose, your excitement. Why the reason you chose to click on this video. Hold your passe in three, two, one. Hold your passe. Find first position arm. Inhale to say. Exhale, press out soft. Half moon. Inhale to passe. Exhale, press out half moon. Inhale, kiss your toes towards your inner thigh. Exhale, flex your toes back towards your face, standing half moon. Inhale to center. Exhale, squeeze. First position arm in your left side. Draw your weight directly away from your heart. Create this half circle shape in your left arm. Release your right foot flat on the mat. Inhale to kiss. Exhale to open. Press your heel out strong. Parallel your foot with the top of your mat. Hold your half moon in three, two. Hold your half moon. Half moon singles with an upright row. Inhale to lower. Exhale to squeeze. Inhale to lower. Exhale, upright row. Palm faces your body the entire time. Squeeze your inner thighs to kiss. Lift through your outer glue. Lift your elbow slightly higher than your shoulder. Find a squeeze up 
and a draw back. Plug your left shoulder blade into your socket. Squeeze your left shoulder blade towards your spine. Check in with your right side body. Are you starting to dump? Can you find even weight through both of your sides? Reach the crown of your head up towards the sky. Scissor through your inner thighs. Flex your toes back towards your face. Make your leg as straight as you can. Take out any wrinkle on the backside of your leg. We'll spice things up in three. Hold everything high in two. Last one, tiny circles. Circle, circle your heels, circle your elbow. Circle, circle. You're playing with the music. This is the perfect time to go with the beat. Circle, circle. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Woo! Soften your right knee. Engagement through your left glute so your leg is lifted as high as you can get it. Imagine you're tracing a golf ball with your heel and with your elbow. Maintain the height in your leg. Maintain the height in your elbow. Tying your circle back. Here's the exciting news. We will not be circling forward. Woo, yes, you can. So get excited over that. We're just circling the one way tonight. Just the one way. One more thing in half moon. Yes, you can. Last three. Two. Hold your leg high, come to first position in your left arm, fondue. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, bend your right knee, sink your hips back. Exhale, squeeze to stand. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Yes, this is the movement in your right leg that I know you were waiting for. I just know you were. I know you were waiting to shake out your right leg. Your right glute's probably speaking at you. It's barking at you, that's fine. Focus on your upper body. Draw your weight away from your heart. Release your shoulder blades away from your ears. Inhale, bend into your right leg. Sink your tailbone back. Sink into your hip creases. It does not have to be a big bend. Not at all. You go as low as you want to go. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Draw your weight out into space. We shake it out in three. Stay with me. For two, one, draw your weight to your heart. Take cross body squat with an overhead jack. Cross body squat with an overhead jack. Draw your weight to the outside of your foot as you take your squat. Press your weight over your head for your jack. Yes, come on. 20 seconds of cardio to shake out your body, to get your heart rate pumping. Squat low as you draw your weight to the outside of your foot. Spring up, laying lightly in your feet as you draw your weight over your head. Make the transition nice and smooth. Take out your weight if it's holding you back from your fullest potential. Seven seconds, yes you can. We turn facing our bar. In four, three, two, one. Place your weight at your bar. Plant your right leg down. Extend your left leg long, warrior three legs. Low flying warrior, inhale lower, exhale lift. Inhale lower, exhale squeeze. I like to place my forearms on the bar, but you can always pull your palms if you like to bend greater into your right leg. Point your left toes down towards the ground. Pull your left hip in line with your right. Belly button stares directly down at your mat. Imagine your belly button as a flashlight. Are you shining off to the left or off to the right? Can you make it nice and centered? Release your shoulder blades away from your ears. Act like you're reaching to the top of your mat with your left heel. You're trying to reach long to smash something, and then you're squeezing in. Stack your right hip over your right knee, over your right ankle. Release the tension in your right toes if you're gripping at the earth. Take out the dumping and your lower back. Pull your belly button to your spine, tuck your pelvis slightly. Hold your leg high in three, two. Leg is lifted, cross body, toe taps, inhale, tap your left toes to the right side of your mat, exhale to lift. Inhale, squeeze your inner thighs as you tap your toes, exhale, lift to neutral. Inhale to lower, 
Exhale to squeeze. Find a neutral position the entire time. I really like to point my toes as I cross over and flex my toes as I lift back to a warrior three legs. Fine. The squeeze, your inner thighs, the pinch as you pull your left toes as far as you can outside of your right leg. Out of your side vision, you should be able to see your toes tap outside of your right foot. Parallel both of your hips down towards the earth. Shake it out when you need. We have one more thing in warrior three legs. Get so excited, get so jazzed. You're here to work, you're putting it in. The next time you're lifted in your warrior three legs, inhale to reach. Exhale, draw your left elbow into your left armpit. Inhale, reach. Exhale, oblique crunch. Inhale, extend back. Exhale, squeeze, draw it in. Standing core work, so sneaky, so strong. Yes, if you want to bring your hands onto the bar so you can find more length as you draw your knee into your armpit. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, draw in. Release your shoulder blades away from your ears. If they're starting to creep up, starting to get tense, let it go. Take a big inhale and exhale to reset. Another great opportunity to activate through your torso. If your lower body is really screaming at you, focus on your core work, focus on your breath, focus on the excitement. We're shaking it out in five seconds. Press off your bar in three, two, one. Press off your bar, you're on volleyball blocks. Reach up, imagine yourself blocking a volleyball over the net. Bend lightly in your feet. Explode so far off the ground that you're able to point your toes. Spread your fingers wide. Go as fast as you need to go. Celebrate that we're not holding, we're not posting, we're not lowering and lifting. We're taking this huge explosion, explosive movement. 10 seconds to go. Count your reps to get you there to finish strong. Last of five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Always option to grab a sip or a towel. We're jumping right into side two. Put your left leg down. Extend your right leg back. Warrior three, you have a low flying warrior. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale lower. Exhale squeeze. Sag your left ankle underneath your left knee and your left knee underneath your left hip. Sack your joints so they are strong. Pull your right hip in line with your left hip this time. Choose whatever variation you need. If it's forearms, if it's hands, if it's your forehead, whatever you need to rest on your bar to get through side two. Pull and draw back with your right toes towards the top of your mat. Imagine you're trying to touch something with your big toe. Inhale, lower. Exhale to lift. Scissor through your inner thighs. Core should be nice and hot after all the oblique work. So pull your belly button to your spine. Notice if your lower back is starting to sink towards your mat. Level out through your spine. Release the clench in your jaw. No surprises on side two. We just have to even out our sides. Re-engage through your right glute. So your right leg is lifted as high as you can. Turn your right pinky toe down towards the earth. We cross over toe tap in three, two. Inhale, tap your right toes. Exhale, squeeze through center. Inhale, tap your right toes. Exhale, squeeze through center. Tap your right toes as far as you can away from your body and squeeze back to a neutral position. The only thing that is moving is your right leg. Pinch the inner thighs. To get nice and slow, allow muscle to wrap around bone. Adjust your grip, adjust your stance. Soften your left knee if you're starting to lock out through your lower body. Inhale, pull your right toes from center all the way across. Yes, find your breath. 
Take it nice and slow. Inhale, reach across. Exhale, squeeze it in. Pull your right quad back towards the earth. Notice you're starting to open your belly button across the right side of your room. Standing core, we're coming at you. You're ready. You got this. Get so excited because warrior three is so hard and you're almost out of it. The next time you're in warrior three, inhale to say, exhale, crunch your right elbow to, or excuse me, your right knee towards your right elbow. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bleed, crunch. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Draw your right knee up to your right elbow, maybe to your right armpit. Who knows? Side two, you're stronger. Perhaps a little bit more sweaty or hot. Doesn't matter. But you're just as strong, just as excited to get out of this. And you'll to reach. Exhale, squeeze it in. Pause at the top. Notice if you're just going through the motion, can you pause? Appreciate the motion. Appreciate your body and what it's capable of doing. 10 seconds to go. We press off our bar. And four, three, two, one. Press off your bar. Take fast feet. Fast feet. Stay low on your legs. Think hot feet, hot feet, hot feet. Move your arms up and down your mat. Perhaps you go to the side. Travel. Shake it out. You're home. Let it wiggle. Let it wiggle. Do not be afraid to shake here. She feels so good. Yes, travel up and down. So you can stay low into your knees, stay low into your hips. Get you to reach the crown of your head. Find an increase in your heart rate. Seven seconds left. Get sassy with your upper body. Four, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Capture your weight in your right hand. Place your left side body to the bar. Prepare for power leg singles with the lateral raise. Inhale as you lower down. Exhale to squeeze in. Inhale to lower down. Exhale to draw in. Practically a master at this. Pretty much. You've done it once. You're doing it again. No surprises again. All ten toes and knees face towards the front of the room. Remember, soften your elbows as you draw your weight to your shoulder. As you draw your weight to your shoulder and your shoulder follows, drop your shoulder away from your ear. Allow your shoulder and upper back to do the motion for you rather than your joint itself. Relevant to the balls of your feet. Internally rotate your thighs towards each other. Isometrically draw your feet in so you engage with your inner thighs. Notice if you're starting to stick your, stick your butt out, Tuck your pelvis, pull your pubic bone to your floating ribs, slide up and down a wall. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Move up and down like you would on a carousel. The next time you hold low on your power legs, take your one inch lower, one inch lift with your salt and pepper shaker. Inhale, lower, flip your weight to the ground. Exhale, lift, flip your palm up towards the ceiling. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze. Press firmly into all of your toes. Notice if your knees start to sway open towards your pinky toes or start to knock in towards your big toes. Can you have the option here to drop down to your heels if you need it? Inhale, lower one inch. Exhale, lift one inch. You're putting tension on your body the entire time. Such crazy strong work is happening in this moment. Recommit to your weight at shoulder height. Soften your elbow. Last three. Two. Last one, draw your elbow by your rib cage. Take a knee open with a low rotator. Inhale to center. Exhale open. Inhale to center. Exhale open. Allow your weight to hover, hover over your right knee. Glue your elbow by your rib cage. Inhale to center. Exhale to open. Gauge it through your right outer glute to draw your knee open like a book. See how high you can stack your heels over your toes. 
90 degree bend in your elbow. Focus on running across your collarbones and squeezing your right shoulder blade towards your spine. And you'll bow to a neutral position. Exhale to open. Recommit to your power legs. Recommit to the plie in your knees. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Imagine your, your kind of your head over your tailbone. Great news. This is the last thing in power legs. Then we add in some movement. Last three. Two. Hold in center power legs with a passe half curl. Inhale, lower to power legs. Exhale, passe to half curl. Passe to the front of the room. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze. Drop your elbow to 90 degrees in your power legs. Come up onto your left leg for your passe. Sometimes excitement can backfire on us. And excitement is wanting to leave a posture. Rather than getting excited about leaving it, maybe you get excited about entering a new one. Switch the perspective. Just switch around the thinking. Continue to let yourself shake. Let your flame, your flame, bright flame show right here on your mat. The next time you are in your passe, hold your passe, bicep curl. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lower three fourths the way up. Exhale, squeeze three fourths the way down. Lower and lift. Hold your bicep under tension the entire time. Nay your elbow by your rib cage. Releve onto your left heel, the left ball of your foot. Kiss your right toes on the inside of your left knee. Notice if your knee starts to droop down, if you can find re engagement. And lift your knee straight out of your hip joint. Inhale to lower. Exhale to squeeze. Check in with your left side. Are you jumping all the way in? Can you stand up strong? Find even weight through both of your side bodies. We switch out the movement. And four. I'm right here with you. Stay strong for two. And one, inhale, coupe, kiss your heels. Exhale, passe, shoulder tap. Inhale, coupe, kiss your heels. Exhale, passe, shoulder tap. Inhale, kiss your heels. Externally rotate your thigh. Exhale, shoulder tap. Imagine this like a cross body bicep curl. Lower as you rotate your inner thigh towards out. Kiss your heels. And allow your toe to slide up as you draw your weight to your shoulder. Flex your core, find tightness, wrap around your belly button. So happy that we're moving our body. We're not holding it any longer. Whew. Loosen the grip in your left hand. So close, friends, so close. One more standing series left to go. And you're here for seven. Recommit to your releve if you took it. Last three, two, hold your passe first position ballet arms. Inhale to half moon, exhale to squeeze. Good, reach out with your half moon, pull in for your passe. Reach out, press along, squeeze in towards your mid body. As you take your half moon parallel your foot, lift through your pinky toe, Pull your left toes up toward, excuse me, your right toes up towards your face. Smash your heel to the top of your mat. Find this half circle with your right arm. Draw your weight directly out from your heart. Allow your upper body to do some work right here. It's not moving, but it's still doing work. Take out any wrinkles in the back side of your right leg. Hold your half moon in three, two. Half moon with your upper row. Inhale, everything lowers. Exhale, everything squeeze to lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Drop your left heel onto the ground. Kiss your inner thighs. Squeeze your way across your chest. Allow your elbow to come slightly higher than your shoulder. Find a high squeeze up and a high squeeze back. Dig nice and tall, tall through the high pull and squeeze your shoulder blades on your back, brought out through your collarbones. 
Neutralize your pelvis, long, strong spine. Inhale, kiss your inner thighs. Exhale, squeeze your leg as high as you can. Soften your left knee. Pull the weight out of your left side body. Adding in the spice again with the circles in three. Hold everything high in two. Last one, hold high, tiny circle. Circle, hold your elbow up high, hold your leg up high. Imagine you're tracing a golf ball size. Squeeze back and rotate, squeeze back and rotate. Turn all 10 toes towards the front of the room. Squeeze, hold the tension underneath your body. Soften your left knee. Again, we're not circling back the other direction. Whoopee, we're so happy about that, right? Come on. One more thing in half moon. Right here with you for seven seconds. Stay strong. Squeeze your core, stand tall. Four, four, three, two. Find first position in your arms, fondue in your left. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, flow your right leg towards the top of your mat. Exhale, squeeze and stand. Imagine a string connected to your right ankle. Keep your right ankle lifted high. Bend slightly into your left knee. Again, this does not have to be a big movement. Just as much as you want to soften and straighten. Face your left knee directly out in front of you. Know if it starts to buckle in or sway out. We shake it out. In seven, sit back into your hips. Squeeze your glutes at the top. For four, three, two, one. Draw your weight to your center. Take weighted speed skaters. Drop your left foot to the front. Drop your right foot to the back. Good. Take speed skaters. Press your weight at heart center. Take this lateral movement nice and quick. Scissor through your inner thighs. Chest is lifted. Use up the full length of your mat. Stay low in your lower body. Press the weight away from your heart. Press the weight away from your heart. Flare out through your elbows. This is your last chance to move your body before we cool it, cool, cool it down. Before we cool it down. You got this. I'm so excited. Can't even form a sentence, but it's fine. Seven seconds left. Dig deep for four, three, two, one. Yes, you've made it. Plant your weight. Come to the top of your mat. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach tall. Exhale, baby, back bend. Open across your chest. Allow your shoulder blade to fall down your back. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, baby, back bend. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold, hinge at your hips. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, come to tabletop pose. Swing your legs out in front of you and come onto your back. Find supine figure four. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Flex your right toes back towards your face. Always the option to take it seated if that feels best. If you're from a supine position, you can leave your left foot planted on the ground or grab behind your left quad the keyhole that you have created. You can sway side to side, massage out through your spine, release your shoulder blades down, soften your jaw, soften your eyebrows. Inhale to stay. Exhale, release your legs. Supine to figure four on the opposite side. Cross your left ankle over your right knee. Breathe here. Find similar sensation. Whatever you felt on side one, match it on side two. And you can invite in the movement, the swing, the ironing out through your lower back, or you can invite in stillness. The focusing on pressing your left knee out and drawing your right knee in. Take a breath in and a breath out. Release your legs. Pull your knees into your chest and exhale. Supine spinal twist towards the left. Breathe. Stack your right hip over your left hip. 
Create a 90 degree bend in your knees. Release your heels away from your glutes. Anchor your shoulder blades heavy into the earth. And you can either take your arms out to a T or go post them. Open and broaden across your chest. Exhale. Inhale, slowly pull your knees back into your chest. Wrap your forearms around your shins. Give yourself a hug. And then exhale, supine, a spinal twist. Cross the opposite direction. Breathe. Again, set yourself up for similar sensations. Stacking your hips, your knees, your ankles. Twisting through your ribcage. Long space open across your chest. Pull your gaze wherever is most comfortable for you. Exhale. Inhale, slowly pull your knees back into your chest. Give yourself a great big hug, a big squeeze. Appreciation for your body and the work that you have done. As always, if there's anything else that your body needs, you can take it here. But if you're ready, stay for a full breath in. And a full breath out, release into your Shavasana. Extend your arms and legs long. Allow your shoulder blades to cradle your heart. And trust I will guide you out when the moment is right. Take a slow guiding breath in. In a slow guiding breath out, begin to invite awareness and attention back into your body and breath, wiggling your toes and fingers, rocking your head from side to side, taking a swallow to release the tongue away from the roof of your mouth. And with your next inhale, reach your arms along above your head for a long body stretch. And exhale, guide your thumbs to your heart space. You'll finish practice on your backs today. Thank you so much for allowing me to be just a small fraction of your practice for trying to create behaviors of being excitement wherever you go, wherever life leads you, whether if it's just small excitement like a new water bottle or a fresh pair of new socks or if it's excitement to move your body and to get a good sweat in. I hope you find a recognition of your passion of everything you choose to do with your life. So I guide your thumbs to your third eye, the space between your eyebrows. In your left hand, I invite life and love. In your right hand, I invite patience and peace. Together we bow as one as we seal in our practice. Namaste. Beautiful work. Again, my name is Cheyenne. Thank you for joining me for Power Bar Express. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day.